doing a comparative theology channel would be incomplete without mentioning the Journal of Interreligious Studies, a very solid contributor to the ongoing interreligious discourse and interfaith dialogue. In this back cover book report, I'll be recommending a publication entitled Deep Understanding for Divisive Times, Essays Marking a Decade of the Journal of Interreligious Studies. This book, then, can be an invaluable resource for those who are thinking about or approaching an interfaith theology. And it fits well here simply because panentheism would indeed be a theological alternative that would indeed incorporate interreligious study and theology. About the journal, and I'll leave the link to this specific web page at the bottom of the description section. The Journal of Interreligious Studies, or JIRS, all caps, is a forum for academic, social, and timely issues affecting religious communities around the world. This is a global endeavor published online. It is designed to increase both the quality and frequency of interchanges among religious groups and their leaders and scholars. This would include amongst the world's religions and indeed the denominations within each. By fostering conversation, the journal hopes to increase religious and interreligious literacy, something that seems to be lacking in a largely secular uh, society. And to contribute to the field of interreligious hermeneutics or interpretations and their variations, and address the issues surrounding interreligious relations, dialogue, theology, and communication. The JIRS solicits articles of an interdisciplinary nature and with the aim of producing resources for interreligious education, pedagogy, and cooperation. It is a publication of the Boston University School of Theology, Hebrew College, and Hartford International University for Religion and Peace. For regular updates, you are invited to follow the journal on Facebook and Twitter and other social media outlets. And in doing, perhaps, a uh, a web search on the journal would be helpful as well. You may also subscribe to their mailing list to receive updates, new issues, book review requests, events, podcast episode releases, etc. Newsletters are sent out about eight to ten times a year. So that is a brief explanation on 
the Interreligious Studies or the JIRS, Journal of Interreligious Studies. <clears throat> On the publication, Deep Understanding for Divisive Times is an encapsulation of a decade of publications and essays in the history of the Journal of Interreligious Studies. The book is edited by Lucinda Allen Mosher, Axel Mark Oaks Tax, and Mary Elizabeth Moore. Deep Understanding for Divisive Times offers original essays by scholars, activists, and educators who specialize in interreligious interfaith studies and grassroots efforts designed to inspire, inform, and guide these short pieces within this particular publication offer wisdom regarding challenges that divide and collaborations that heal. The collective experiences of these authors provide individual readers, secular and religious communities, and the classroom, very important, with a wellspring of practical insights and stimuli for rich conversation. Doing interfaith work and interreligious study requires dedication and perhaps a, an ability to um, not only remain faithful to your home tradition or religion or spiritual path, but to cross the boundaries into others and to attempt to understand and cooperate with other religious communities. Of course, in a positive atmosphere and not necessarily a negative one, which is all too common when people put up their walls and their boundaries, they tend to disregard the importance of interreligious theology and studies and interfaith dialogue. And this is why this particular organization exists for deeper and better understanding of so called others. Professor Diana L. Eck, Ph.D., Director, The Pluralistic Project at Harvard University, says, I love this collection of essays, both from the experience, reflection, growth, and activism of the interfaith movement. This book attests to the multitude of ways in which interfaith relationships have now become part of the fabric of our colleges universities, hospitals, and homes, and I would add society in general. We are even more conscious of the urgent necessity of deep understanding, navigating the turbulent waters of our time, is this great flotilla of the interfaith movement, providing compass, stability, skill, and commitment in this time, when our multi-religious society, or societies, is being tested as never before. Professor Aza Karam, Ph.D., Secretary General, Religions for Peace, this collection of essay, making a decade of a journal with itself contains the hallmarks of a journey of no less than prophetic engagement. Illustrate 
why and how into religious studies, provided deep understanding in a world apparently gone mad. Yet, it is in wisdom, sanity, and celebration of a decade of enlightenment and thought and praxis, a must-read for anyone seeking to drink from the fountains of the divine wisdom and critical debate in each and every faith tradition. And Yavir A. Vieira writes, who is a vice provost and dean of the Theological School of Divinity, or the Theological School, rather, at Drew University, writes, at a time when the world as we know it seems to be coming undone in more ways than one, we need resources and wisdom that helps us build a new reality, or I would say a perceptual shift, as was noted in Daniel J. Shepard's Symbiotic Panentheism. This volume is just that, providing theoretical and practical wisdom that can equip us to create the future we long for and need. The Journal of Interreligious Studies or instudies.org is an online peer-reviewed publication of Hebrew College, Boston University School of Theology and Hartford Seminary dedicated to innovative research on and study of the interactions that take place within and among religious and ethical communities. And I would imagine also that psychology and sociology are highly involved within these studies. From the foreword, a foreword by Ebel, Ebo, Ebu, rather, Patel. Interreligious Interfaith Studies in Interfaith America. <clears throat> the field of interreligious interfaith studies, of which the Journal of Interreligious Studies is a bulwark, continues to grow in intellectual sophistication. The articles it publishes are powerful illustration of this. <clears throat> They consider interfaith engagement from many angles and perspectives, from ecology to anti-racist. There are excellent pieces here from a range of religious traditions, as well as from perspectives that might be termed spiritualist and not necessarily religious, as many identify themselves as being spiritual and not religious. I would add, however, that these two cannot necessarily be separated except perhaps within one's mind. Each perhaps has given credence to the other, in other words. Spiritual life arose out of religious dedications. Continuing, there are also place-based perspectives and notes on how to improve interfaith pedagogy and programmatic practice. Indeed, the past decade has been a time of great growth for interreligious interfaith studies and its related programs and practices, especially in the academy, hundreds of faculty members, some of them tenured professors, 
teach courses in interfaith or interreligious studies in colleges across the country. The Interreligious and Interfaith Studies Unit of the American Academy of Religion regularly gathers a full room for its sessions. Several academic books with interfaith or interreligious studies in the title or the table of contents have been published recently. The term interfaith leader or minister is now regularly used to describe someone with the vision, the knowledge base, and the skill set to create positive connections among people who orient around religion differently. Perhaps as a mediator. As one sign of the growth, the author Vinding Davis Foundations re renamed its theology program as Interfaith Leadership and Religious Literacy. Literacy. It has been making grants to faculty members and college staff for several years and will hopefully continue to do so for decades to come. All in all, we can safely say that we have arrived as a field, or I would say as a category of theology, inter-religious theology. This book, which celebrates the Journal of Inter-Religious Studies, is a powerful proof point for this. And yet, we all know that there is so much more to be done. We may be reaching more and more interreligious or interfaith study courses on our campuses, but too few students are taking them. And I would add that uh, many of the negative attitudes that perhaps, for example, that exclusivist theistic Christians or of any other particular tradition have grown to see any other tradition or spiritual path as uh, illegitimate or worse evil and that indeed has been a stumbling block not to mention the bad theology that seems to support a negative view as well. Continuing, we may be writing articles on the various ways that religious traditions offer wisdom for bringing people from different backgrounds together and creating a bridge to a collective and inclusive future, but not enough people are reading these articles. The author says, my organization, Interfaith Youth Corps, in partnership with research teams at the Ohio State University and North Carolina State University, has just completed the most ambitious study of religious diversity ever done in higher education. There were some inspiring findings. 93% of the students say they have friends across lines of religious difference. 70% say they believe it is important to bridge religious divides. And, and important indeed, as this bridge may perhaps be the difference between a world at war with itself and a world at peace with itself. So, essays marking a decade of the Journal of Interreligious Studies, Deep Understanding for Divisive Times.
an invaluable resource for those who wish to take up or embark upon the very exciting field of interreligious theology.